Hello and welcome back to Asanas and Wellness. My name is Latoya. Thank you for joining me for this morning yoga flow. Now, um, today we won't be using props during this um, sequence, but feel free to have some blocks nearby unless, um, just in case you need their support. Also, if knee sensitivity is an issue, um, feel free to grab a folded blanket to place under your knees. All right, so if you're ready, let's get started. So we'll start our practice today in a wide leg child's pose. So bring in your knees about as wide as your mat, maybe, maybe closer in, just depending on how this feels for you. Um, allow your toes to touch and then gently begin to walk your hands down to your chest and forehead or down to the mat, just pressing your hips back to rest on your heels. Let's take some slow, deep breaths here as we prepare for today's practice. Allow your torso to just melt down towards the mat. Slowly begin to walk your hands over towards the left side of your mat. Feeling a gentle stretch along your right side. Really reaching that right arm up and over. Now gently walk your hands over to the right side. Coming up, let's go ahead and move back to center. And then go ahead and walk your hands back to press yourself up. And come into a tabletop position. Wrist under your shoulders, knees under hips. Slowly arch your spine down for the inhale. Gaze up, tailbone up, and exhale, round your spine. Crown of your head and tailbone pointed down towards the mat. And just continue this at your own pace. Returning back to tabletop for thread the needle pose. Take your right arm, send it up, 
towards the sky and then you're going to take your hand and thread it through your under your left arm bringing your shoulder down to the mat the side of your head and ear down to the mat now take your left hand and, and feel free to leave it right here for support or just extend it straight out kind of shift your hips a little to the right because they're going to try to fall to the left remembering to breathe if your left arm is extended up bring it back down and press up back to tabletop and now let's take this pose over to the left side arm up and thread it through And pressing your way back up from tabletop let's take a half pigeon so bring take your right knee and bring it up so that it's your knee is behind your your right knees behind your right hand your right foot will either come up close near your left hand or it may be further in towards your hips either one is perfect and if you're you still have some room here and your right hip isn't all the way to the mat feel free to take a block and place it under your hip for support if you need to but we're gonna actually stay up pressing into your the, your palms of your hand Now gently take a twist over to the left. Maybe trying to look back at that left foot. Return to center. Roll over onto that right hip and swing your left leg around for head to knee pose. keeping your right foot folded in towards your thigh on an inhale lengthen through your spine and exhale fold over your left knee grab it onto your ankle or shin keeping a slight bend in that knee you flex your toes towards you feeling this stretch not only and the, on the back of your thigh but also maybe down the right side of your body right side of your torso put your palms to the mat press yourself back up take your right hand behind you lean back and we're going to push up into a half wild thing so just press up onto your right knee send your left hand back and gaze up and come back down to seat it let's find tabletop and pigeon pose on the left side So your left knee behind your left hand. Now coming into this pose, you want to make sure that both your hips are both faced forward. So lift and adjust any way that you need to make sure that your hips are squared. Take in your gentle twist. Maybe placing your right hand gently on your right thigh and 
back to center. Now rolling onto your left hip for head to knee pose. Inhale, extend, exhale, fold. Hands to the mat, pressing your way up to sitting for our half wild thing. Left hand down behind you, leaning back and lifting up, pressing up onto your left knee. Send your right arm up and behind you as you try to gaze back at your hand. And coming back down to sitting. Let's make our way back to tabletop pose for downward facing dog. So on tabletop, just move your hands out maybe an inch or two past your shoulders. Curl your toes under and gently pressing up. Walk your heels out if needed. From here, we're gonna step up into a standing forward fold. So if you need to, widen your feet to walk them up. Pressing your hips up towards the ceiling, just allowing your head to hang heavy. Maybe grab your elbows. hands to the mat. Now step your right foot back. We're going to come up into warrior one. Just placing your right foot so that your toes are at a 45 degree angle. Maybe point it towards the front, right at edge of your mat, corner of your mat. Slowly press up to warrior one. Feet hip distance apart. Knee over your ankle, your hips both facing forward. If you find this too challenging and you're, you have like some knee pain, just go into a high lunge. Arms up, gaze up. And exhale humble warrior we're going to come down but just bring your arms straight out behind you bring your head and torso down to the inside of your left thigh and now circle your arms on down to, to the mat Place your right hand beside your left foot. Spin your right foot straight, and we're gonna just come down to runner's lunge. Now send your left hand up to the ceiling, gazing up. Gaze up if that's comfortable. And coming back down, let's put that right knee down to the mat. Going into a low lunge, your hands to your knee, spine nice and tall, extending through your spine. Now straightening your left leg for half split. Turning your toes towards you and blocks may be helpful here. Or feel free to just place your fingertips down to the mat Lean forward a bit, feeling this right down the back of your leg. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna find your downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, transition to your 
forward fold. So step forward or just widen your feet and walk towards the front of your mat. This time, step your left foot back, warrior one, left foot at a 45 degree angle, coming up, spine nice and tall. And humble warrior, hand straight out behind you. Left hand down to the mat. Spin your right left foot for a revolved runner's lunge. Send your right hand up towards the sky. And bringing your hand down, bring your left knee to the mat for a low lunge. Extending through your spine, nice and tall, slowly sinking your hips down. And half split, so straightening that right leg, flex your toes towards you. Folding down towards your right knee. Right now from here, pressing up and coming to kneeling. We're going to take a variation of camel pose. Just place your hands right onto your lower back. Inhale, extend through your spine. Exhale, gaze up, turn your head back. And coming back up, let's come into Sukhasana. Cross leg position or easy pose. All right, so place your left hands on your right knee. Extend your right arm up for a side bend. Inhale up. Place your left hand on the floor behind you. Extend through your spine on the inhale and exhale for a gentle twist. And coming back to center, take your right hand, place it on your left knee. Extend your left hand up and, and over for your side bend. Rolling that left shoulder open. And back up, take your left hand to the floor behind you. Inhale, extend through your spine and exhale, twist. And coming back to center, place each hand down to each thigh. Let's just take a, a couple of torso circles. So just inhale, send your torso around front. 
exhale to the back maybe rounding your spine incorporate some cat cows one more around the front now let's reverse our circle let's take two this way And returning to center with your palms together at your heart center. We'll end our practice today with a deep cleansing breath in through your nose and out of your mouth. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Namaste.